peace, blessings, and love. This is Ms. Hathia Giddy coming to you this morning with some Power Thoughts, Daily Affirmations. I grow, I grow beyond my family limitations and live for myself. It's my turn now. I free myself and everyone in my life from old past hurts. Let's get two more for a bonus. I am very well organized. Life is simple and easy. It is always easy for me to adapt and change. I am flexible and flowing. Let's do our daily God is Oracle Angel cards. Let's see what my message is for today. I left my phone upstairs. La 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 la. Do have my tea with some drinking raspberry. Herbal tea, possibly for women. Women's health. Yep. I'm eating an egg with some cheese. It's so hard for me to decide what I want for breakfast because eating early in the morning sometimes makes me nauseous and I can't eat everything. Like, I don't eat meat much. I haven't ate meat in a long, long time. It's been about the last eight, nine months. This is my second go around at eating meat. Um, sometimes I make sure it's chicken, but I haven't gave in. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the Delhi Angel cards have to say this morning. What's my message? A blessing in disguise. Let me go to the book. That is so light. Y'all see that? Blessing in disguise. Let me go to the book. I can't even see that. It reads, what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answer prayer. You understand, you understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Mm. Well, when I think about a blessing in disguise... Something recently has happened in my life, and um, I knew it was going to happen, as I said in my other video. It's kind of interesting. I don't know. I can't discuss that just yet. Let's move on. The angel sent you this card to help you recognize the blessing in the midst of... An apparent challenge, which you appear to have lost, needed to fall away, and will be placed with something better. Have no fear for your future, but continue praying and finding guidance that comes to you through repeti repetitive, repetitive feelings, thoughts, visions, and words. Additional meanings for this card one door closes, another door opens. The how is up to God with respect to the best way to answer prayers. Release the need to control or predict the outcome to the situation. Trust. And and that's something I have to do. I really have to work on, on that. I had something happen to me. Well, nothing didn't happen to me. It's something that a cure that I really don't like. Um... But I think I may be making a uh, an issue out of it, and that's something I have to do. Cause sometimes you go through things, or something may happen, and you may perceive it as a problem because of your beliefs or whatever, and it might not actually be a problem. So that card is it, it speaks. It's speaking to me, and then the other. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I know I'm probably confusing people. Sometimes things may happen that might not be bad, but you may perceive it to be bad because of your own thought pattern. And it might be actually a blessing 
that this event may be occurring. I think I understand that way, right? Well, I hope so. Let's move on. <laughs> and the other one is Trust Your Vibe. Rainy Day. I'm going to take a lift to work. Because I don't feel like wearing rain boots. I got to walk around with rain boots at work for eight to seven and a half hours. When I'm going to be indoors. And I gave my umbrella to my lovely daughter. So let's shuffle this one. And the name of this one is Trust Your Vibes. So that, that card, like it's a blessing in disguise. There's no need to worry. The situation ain't bad. It's just that sometimes I overthink a lot of shit. Ooh, excuse me. I overthink a lot of shit sometimes. That could make matters worse. So that's something I have to um after working so sometimes you may experience a situation that may not be bad that you may perceive it as bad and it might be a blessing in disguise so I gotta chill <laughs> I gotta chill on that one <laughs> I tell you you can always learn a thing or two about yourself there's nothing wrong with that let's do this one right here I gotta finish eating my breakfast Yeah, I sometimes I gotta laugh at myself because body talk, body talk, ba 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 body talk, body talk. Let's see what body talk. Card number seven. Does your gut rumble, your chest tighten, and the heat on your arm rise in certain situation? Does your heart race and your head pound? Do you get a lump in your throat at other times? Play, a cold, play a close attention to these signals because your body is talking to you and what it's saying is important. It has a language of its own, unique and consistent, and with a little awareness, you'll begin to read what your vibes are trying to tell you, whether it's a warning or a good vibe. Learn to read your body vibes by running a mental scanner over several times a day, asking yourself, how do I feel physically right now? Take your awareness a step further as you talk to your body. Ask it out loud for feedback and trust what you get. Don't overthink, which I have a tendency to do. Take the first thought or feeling that pops up as an accurate and use this information to guide you. This is Six Sensory Health Insurance. I like that card. I do tend to overthink things sometimes. I do tend to read more into a situation. And I was told that last night. <laughs> you see, I commit my own wrong. And I am an overthinker. Like I said, sometimes you might present it a situation and you might be reading more into that situation than what it is. And like that car said, it can actually be a blessing in disguise. So that's something that I need to work on because I do tend to overthink, especially if I don't agree with what may be happening. I'll read more into what it really is. So that's something I have to work on. But um I know that at least I am able to see, you know, things within myself that may not be beneficial to me. And um <laughs> I was going back and forth with a person last night on a situation that presented itself. And the person was telling me, you're overthinking, you're reading more into it. And it was really, you know, trying to convince me, like, is that the situation that's going to happen is, is not, <laughs> not bad. I just need to cut it out. <laughs> there was something I need to cut it out. I could be a mess sometimes. I could be stubborn sometimes. You know, especially if I don't agree with it. And I got to remember, not everybody... Everyone, 
you can have a situation and two people may be involved in the situation but y'all may have different views on the situation so we were going back and forth this person could understand my point of view say they understand my point of view but saying that I'm reading more to it and it's not the way that I'm thinking it is so I'm going to uh, take that that advice from the card and <laughs> work on those little thoughts of mine. But peace, blessings, and a whole lot of love. Have a beautiful, beautiful day.